<clears throat> right, it's the 8th of June 2011. I've just caught a train from Weston to Highbridge. <clears throat> and I'm now entering Basin Bridge on towards East Huntsville. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a video. There's um, a big building up here which has got significance for something or other. I can't remember what it is though. <laughs> So this is just going through the village. It's quite a fast road because it leads up towards the motorway. So there's the Basin Bridge in there. I've probably been in there and had a drink before now. Basin Bridge Garage. There's the pub. There. There's that building there. But I don't know what it does. I think it's just an industrial estate now. I ain't sure. Excuse me. This was mainly built for agricultural workers. There's new houses going up. Oh, they look like couch houses over there. You've got these huge lorries coming all the time, so that's where they make aggregates by the look of it for roadworks and buildings and that. Foundations. But here we've got some new buildings going up, so I'm just doing a little bit of what we call. Um, background information Bellway concerning this church meadow It's a very weird village isn't it? P patchy, old, new, nothing really ancient No thatch roofs or anything We're in Chapel Lane now, there's some helicopters up there. Doing some sort of exercises up there. Right, we've come to a chapel now. This must be Basin Bridge Chapel here. Mm -hmm. There, look, I'm not going to go and have a look at it, but um, that's a place of worship anyway in this village. I think even the other church further up is relatively new. Right, so I'm going to turn off now. It's just really a very brief introduction to today's walk, cycle I mean, into the countryside in search of Somerset churches and exploring the beautiful Somerset countryside. Right, we're in All Saints 
at East Brent. Not open, just like West, no, not East Brent, sorry, East Huntsville. Just like um, West Huntsville, not open. I'm just having a quick look at some graves. Certain ones I come across I might take, make note of. In love and memory of Thomas Coombs, a dear husband and dad, passed away 30th of May 1991, age 83, and dear wife and mum, May Coombs, passed away 31st of August 1995, age 86. Just in case it's related to the Coombs family I know in town. So this will be a very brief video because I've planned to go um, to Woolavington after this. They're building something over there. I don't know what that'll be. Farmers seem to be selling their land off because they can't make it as um, farmers anymore. So all these warehouse people seem to get in. So like I said, I'm just having a quick scan really. There's a few moons in here. There's some more. I took a picture of a moon earlier. There's a moon on the war memorial for the First World War called Frederick Moon. I mean, you never know. They might be connected to Ollie. There you've got um, Mildred Moon. She died in 1964, 72. And William Moon, who died the 14th of March, 1964, 74. I've come across a few moons. There's a, there's a moon. It's like in um, Suffolk, there's moons as well. It's more common than you think. Haggett's quite a common name. We had a Haggett lived in our home. Before we had it years ago, there was Haggett's that lived in Barrow Road. Here we've got another Coombs here, just sticking out. Because I started a Coombs project, you see, as a pilot study I was doing. Roland Herbert Coombs died the 12th of May 1965, aged 63. Also his wife Florence Kate Coombs died the 16th of December 1977, aged 78. Peace, perfect peace. <sighs> See, they could be related. There's probably more in here because I'm only scanning. But I started doing Coombs um, as a part of a pilot study I was doing. Before I even started really finding any of my own ancestors' graves up in Suffolk and Cambridgeshire, I started doing the Coombses in Barrow, part of the Barrow project that you hear me talk about. Puddy is also a very common name in this area. Very common Puddy is. I know some Puddies, living Puddies as well. It's a very grey day today, but it's supposed to be the best out of what's to come. Over the, over the weekend. It's only Thursday but the weather's supposed to get worse so I came on the train to Highbridge. I've got a return. I'm not going to struggle today because I haven't been 100% over the last couple of weeks. I haven't been out for three weeks since Zara's now moved. That's the latest news. Zara has moved back. Right, just got to stop a minute. I've come across some hills. Barbara Sacred to the memory of Eliza, the beloved wife of Joseph Hill of this parish, who departed this life September the 16th, 1914, aged 60. Also, Joseph Hill, husband of the above, he died August the 3rd, 1915, aged 72. And then next door we've got another Hill, because sometimes Hill and Hale are exchangeable. In loving memory of my beloved wife, Ethel Gertrude Hill, who died the 27th of November, 1942, aged 52. And yet another Hill. Oh, there's lots of them now. In loving memory of my dear husband, Turner Hill, called to rest the 7th of July, 1943, aged 60. So he's got a nice grave. And down below, Hector Hill, 1918 to 2006. A loving husband, father, grandfather, and great grandfather. So here we've got a little hill plot. Look. Yeah, hill and hell are exchangeable. It's like 
um, one of Barbara's great grandfathers used sometimes called hill, he sometimes called hail. I'm just going to turn off for a minute because I think I've done enough on this particular place because my batteries never seem to last. So I'm going to turn off now. I'll just take some photographs of those hill graves. Right, this is another short video, it could be video 3 on the 8th of June 2011 while I'm out on one of my Somerset, Somerset Church's cycles. I've just crossed over the King Sedgemoor drain. On a clear day you can easily see Glastonbury Tor when you look up the, up the drain there. It goes right the way in a straight line, straight to the Tor. Lots of walkways around here as well, I suppose you can walk all the way to Glastonbury from here. Ahead of me I've got Woolavington and I'm going to Woolavington Church. <coughs> Over in the distance there is the ROF. My mum worked there in the war making bombs and I keep meaning to make contact with them to see if they've got any photos of her because she was known as the smallest stoker in, in Britain. You know, she used to stoke the furnaces I suppose. Anyway, this is um, part of the start of the Somerset levels. Brent Knoll and the the background there, Wessex water off. I had them visit our place yesterday to clear out the sewers from the past where people have been putting rags down there. That's a bit of useless information, everyone. Right, so I'm just going to do a little bit of cycle as we just approach Willavington. I've just come from East Huntsville that way. And I had to shelter in a barn for about half an hour because it really rained, but that cloud's gone that way. And hopefully this afternoon, there's some blue sky from over Western Way, I might survive to get, get a couple of churches done. I can see um, Will Lovington Church on the hill, so I'm hoping to do that and another one. At least one more. I want to do Will Lovington at least one more, it just depends on my battery, though I have brought my charger with me. But I just thought this one of our Somerset Reens there. And there's the Polden Hills over there where those trees are. I'm going to have to go up a hill at some point and down the other side. This is quite a dangerous road. One of Jodine's 
friends from the past. I can't remember his name. I keep forgetting his name. I keep thinking he's called Scott, but I, I know he ain't. He could be called Ryan. One of them, anyway, he drowned in one of these ditches up here. He, he went into the ditch and he, he, they he banged his head and went unconscious and then he drowned. They speed along here, see? They've all done it. See, I'm, I'm filming them. Now, what's this? Oh, yeah, this is where you can come do water sports up here, I think. This is called Middlemore Sports Lake. Water skiing, water boarding, jet skiing and go-karting. I think Duncan's been there, or someone's been up there. Leisure activities. Uh, I'm just doing a bit of videoing. I shall video for a short space of time. In fact, I'm going to stop in a minute. It's road work coming. It's a bit boring now, but this is just part of the journey. So though I do the churches, I do actually have to reach my destination each time. So I don't just arrive at a church. I have to get there, and it's usually cycling. Train cycle now, because I'm getting further away from Weston now. In order for me to do more further away, I have to get the train at least to Highbridge, Bridgewater, Taunton, that sort of thing. That's the plan for the future. There are some very big clouds further away, but I reckon I've got a good hour. Over and out.